Hi, I would like to explain why the Personal Rapid Transit, PRT, operating model is better than buses or trains. PRT uses smaller vehicles than buses or trains to carry the same number of passengers we need more vehicles. This means you do not have to wait so long for the next vehicle to come. PRT stations are offline on sidings and vehicles not destined to a station can simply bypass it without slowing down. Most trips have few, if any, intermediate stops. We can have many small stations without slowing the system down and therefore keep walking distances short. If we have two stations two miles apart, we can connect them with a two-way bus or train line. The usefulness is limited because we only have one station pair. In other words, if you're at one station, you only have the choice of going to one other station. We have four miles of track, two in each direction, two stations, and one station pair. If we add three intermediate stations one half mile apart, we can now choose between three destination stations from any station and we have numerous station pairs. Unfortunately, a bus or train will have to stop at most stations, significantly slowing the system down. Now, at very low cost, we have more than doubled the number of stations and increased the station pairs by eight times. A significant improvement had we not also slowed the system down. We can extend the original line on both ends and even add a new line in the middle. When we add the new line, we introduce a transfer for some trips. Passengers hate transfers. Buses, and especially train lines, are typically quite far apart, and we end up with large areas that are underserved. Some trips may involve a significant detour. Now we have slightly more than doubled the track length and stations, but increased the station pairs by about four times. A great improvement, which again is largely negated by the drawbacks. With PRT, the same area would be covered with one-way interconnected lines serving stations spaced about one half mile apart. Any pod could access any station, so the need for transfers vanishes. Everyone would be within about a five-minute walk of a station, so the poorly serviced areas also vanish. Yes, there would be some detours required, but they would typically be short in the order of one or two minutes. This is not to say that PRT is a standalone system. It could certainly connect to a bus or train line. Each mode would generate its own traffic and provide them with the benefit of connecting to the other mode. For about the same cost or less, PRT provides more stations and even more station pairs. Unlike bus or train, it takes full advantage of the network effect because it does not suffer from the same disadvantages. As with any transit system, the annual cost and revenue both increase with the number of stations. Unlike other modes, the annual revenue of a PRT system rises faster than the annual cost because it takes full advantage of the network effect. Eventually, there are enough stations for the annual net revenue to become positive and the system makes a profit. I hope you can now agree that the PRT operating model results in a much better system than train or bus. Thank you.